Last fall, a seagull showed up at Musebeck Video and Variety in Jonesport that appeared to be unable to fly. When employees there tried to help, they learned that not only could he fly, but he seemed to be putting on an act in an attempt to get food out of sympathy. They named him Bob, and since then, Bob Seagull has become Musebeck's most infamous regular. There was only one person for this story, <laughs> and that was Brian Seidlinger. He has more. It's like he knows what you're saying. Okay. It's really awesome. Bob Siegel is just like everyone else in Jonesport, stopping by Musebeck Video and Variety every morning for breakfast and most days again for lunch. And if he isn't served promptly, he'll tap his beak on the window for service in lieu of a bell. He don't act like a seagull. I mean, I've fed seagulls for all my life because, you know, I live on the ocean. None of them act like that. Scavenging for food is apparently beneath Bob. He won't eat just anything like those other gulls. He comes to Musebeck for the good stuff, the wet cat food found on the shelf between the motor oil and the dish detergent. He's very finicky. They toss him out donuts, he wouldn't eat it. So I got some fancy fees from over there and went out and he zipped right over and started eating it. I haven't given him any dry food. Just <laughs> the story of Bob the Seagull isn't as much an ornithological piece as it is about simply understanding the value of knowing where to get a good lunch where people are happy to see you. Bob has that in common with the people who frequent Musebeck video, and it's why he's essentially become one of them. The regular, they'll look, see if he's there. And if I don't notice that he's flown in, they'll say, oh, Bob's out here. What's up, buddy? Like, would you consider Bob to be one of you? <laughs> well, he is right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We hope you hang around for a while. Do you talk to him when you go out there? Of course. What do you say to him? Come on, come on, come get your, your breakfast. <laughs> Does he say anything back? He's only said something once to me that was yesterday. He went, <laughs> <laughs> I know, usually when you feed a doll, they'll haul for others to come in. He doesn't say a word. He keeps it very quiet. Come on, Bob. Here you go. Yes, when you find a good spot, it's important to keep it under your beak. It's part of the unspoken code that endears you with both the establishment and the other regulars. I don't know what both the store, but I really love him. <laughs> Brian Seidlinger, WABI TV5 News, Jonesport. My soul, my heart is just happy. I think he knows his name. Absolutely. I think he knows his name is Bob. I think he was Bob before they even named him Bob. He was just meant to be Bob Siegel. That's phenomenal. Just phenomenal. a masterpiece Good from stuff. Brian Seidlinger. It was, you know, better than I had hoped for when I heard about the idea. So. <laughs> Love it. They're taking care of Bob down there. That's oh, great. Great stuff. All right. <laughs>